guys, welcome back. Today is day seven of the study Enough by Sharon James. The title of today's study is More Than Enough. So she starts out with deeming words from childhood itch like phantom worth amputated by careless parents, unthinking friends, tactless teachers, and imprudent peers. We wanted a boy when you were born. You were a mistake. We never wanted children. We don't want you on our team. Is that the best you can do? This seat is taken. Words that echo confirming what we already suspected. We are worthless. So I thought that the key verse kind of fit in right after that, so I'm gonna go ahead and read it. It is Matthew 10, 29 and 30. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet not one of them will fall to the ground outside your father's care. And even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. So don't be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Here's the truth. We all have defects and deficiencies. God knows every one of them. He even knows what caused them. And yet he chose you anyways. He chose you before you were born. Consider God's words to Jeremiah. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Jeremiah 1.5 Long before God created the earth, he had you in mind. He decided to adopt you into his family through Jesus Christ and make you the focus of his love. Why? Because, he gave, because it gave him pleasure to do so. Ephesians 1.5 says, In love he predestined us for adoption into sonship through Jesus Christ, in accordance with his pleasure and his will. Not only did God know you before you were born and chose you to be his child, he appointed you to bear fruit. Jesus said, You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, and so that whatever you ask in my name, the Father will give you. John fifteen sixteen. So God chose you and me, not because we're perfect, but because when we give ourselves over to him and let him conform us, then we will bear fruit. God also planned the specific time and place in history for you to be born. Paul wrote, From one man he made all the nations that they should inhabit the whole earth. And he marked out their appointed times in history and the boundaries of their lands, Acts 17, 26. How in the world could you or I ever be worthless? It's impossible. The mere fact that we were created to be, image, to be image bearers of a holy God says otherwise. C.S. Lewis wrote in his work, The Weight of Glory. There are no ordinary people. You have never met a mere mortal. And you are no ordinary mortal. Spend some time thanking God for your great worth today. Just like the wise words of Dr. Seuss, Today you are you that is truer than true. There is no one alive who is youer than you. So this was the last week of the study Enough by Sharon James. We hope that you guys come out of this with more confidence than when we started this study. So we just want to remind you guys to squish the devil and embrace well, who God made you to be. We love you guys. You're beautiful. You're worthy. And you have a purpose. And don't be afraid to shine. Bye. Bye.